Okay, hello everyone, and uh, hope you're safe. Uh, hope you're not going too stir crazy, you know, being stuck at home with the uh, COVID-19 stuff that's going on. And uh, I have to get back into making tutorials and animations and stuff since I'm stuck at home like the rest of you. Uh, I hadn't done anything for a long time. Just I just was well, just doing stuff. So anyway, we're back into the real world now. And let me go to, well, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little tutorial here on uh, handling rotations inside of Blender because uh, you're going to find out that uh, if you want to do any kind of serious animation, uh, you got to have your rotation stuff set up correctly. So here's the monkey. So let's just do a, a couple rotation keyframes. Um, we'll just hit I and we'll just hit um, rotation. Okay. And then here in the graph editor, you can see that you got ro um, keyframes that come up. And then we'll go to frame 20 here and we'll move him around. Oops. And then we'll go ahead and go to frame 40 and we'll move him back down like this. Okay. Okay, so now as you can see here, we can see that we've got these keyframes and we have these kind of these lines in the graph editor that show you what's going on. And you can go ahead and grab these. Uh, and as you can see, grabbing these in the, uh, in the uh, graph editor has a huge impact on how the uh, animation is timed and stuff. So you can finesse this with the graph editor. And as you can see here, it's set to XYZ Euler. Okay, I know it's pronounced Euler. I'm going to call it Euler because that's what I call it. All right. Uh, if we go to an armature like I have here, we'll go to pose mode and we'll go ahead and create a, uh, a keyframe for this. And then we'll go to 20. And we'll animate it moving down and then get a, another keyframe. And then we'll go here to 40 and we'll go and add another keyframe and see how that animation plays. Now you'll see that all the bones are automatically set to quaternion. All right, and so quaternion gives us, instead of just X, Y, and Z, it's W, X, Y, and Z. All right, and as you can see here, so this is much different way of animating. Um, the advantage to quaternions is, uh, it'll be kind of hard to show you here, but um, the quaternions don't flip over in a strange way or cause gimbal lock like the uh, ruler stuff does. All right. And so that's one reason why the bones uh, in the armature are automatically set to quaternion. So if you're not going to really use the graph editor, um, you don't really have to worry about this too much. But uh, if you're going to start using the graph editor for a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, precise character animation stuff, you're going to probably want to switch off from this and just live with the fact that you're going to have this kind of flipping that can happen at certain times. All right. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll try to research a way in Blender to, to get rid of that. Um, but uh, <clears throat> um, it, as you can see here, if you try to edit this in the graph editor, now that you have like four different um, handles to deal with, uh, it's really difficult to get a precise uh, hand, idea of, of what manipulating these things in the graph editor is going to do to your animation. If you go to uh, Suzanne here, which is, you know, her her uh, animation is done in the XYZ Euler, uh, you can see pretty, you know, X, Y, and Z, and you can see each one of these uh, refers to one of these axes. Let me go to uh, normal mode here. Okay, so you can see here that if I if um, I'm here and I rotate on the, oops, if I rotate just on the blue, you can see here the blue got changed quite a bit. So now uh, I can easily figure out, okay, by manipulating this blue line, I can determine how fast or how much he rotates side to side. All right, by manipulating this red line, I can uh, determine how much she rotates up and down. All right, and the green line would be kind of side to side, okay, or kind of tilting like that, all right? And so if you're going to do a lot of character animation stuff, you're probably going to need to get into the graph editor later and grab these handles and manipulate how the uh, action uh, is interpolated and how it occurs, all right? And so you're going to need to switch these bones off from Quaternion to the XYZ Euler, okay? 
And if I were to go ahead, since I switched it, I go ahead and hit I now and hit rotation. As you can see, now I've got quaternion handles and I've got X, Y, Z handles. So um, what if you got like a character that already has a whole bunch of bones? You know, it's already been set to this rotation mode. Uh, so let's open up a character that I've already used recently. All right, so we got Batman here. And as you can see, Batman, he's not only got a whole bunch of uh, bones here that are already set to the... Uh, oh, I must have already changed these. Uh, let's see here. I've got Quaternion rotations already in here, but I've, I must have already changed these and saved it. Uh, I went ahead and selected everything and hit uh, Control-R, and that brings up the rotation mode. And from here, you can select, select the rotation mode, all right? So now every bone is set to X, Y, Z, Euler, okay? Euler, Euler, okay, Euler, Euler. Um, as you can see here, every single bone is set to that. Um, only thing is in this, uh, in the uh, dope sheet here, you can see that every single, I've got, because uh, he started out with quaternions, I had already set some keyframes for him in the past. I have these quaternions for every single, um, uh, uh, every single bone, I've got these these channels here, and it's kind of clogging up my uh, my my channels. So um, if I want to get rid of those, I can just select everything here, uh, go to channel, and say, um, well, I've already got that. I've I've got them all selected by hitting A. If you go ahead and move your mouse over into the kind of channel box area, and hit A, that'll select everything. That'll all be white. You'll see that there. That means it's selected. Uh, then up here in the search field, just type in quaternion. All right, everything that is quaternion will be selected only. And those keyframe channels should already be selected white because you've got these selected. And then you can just go ahead and simply hit X. All right, and now we can get rid of that. And you can see here now that all that's left is the uh, Euler rotations, all right? So that's how you can kind of convert your uh, armatures that you've already created and uh, convert them into this XYZ coordinate system without too much trouble. Uh, so again, to go over everything, um, if you got a character you want to convert to this this uh, this system uh, from the Quaternion, which is the default, just uh, have your armature in pose mode. Hit A to select everything. Hit Control R to bring up the rotation mode panel. And then select the rotation mode you want, which in this case is XYZ Euler, Euler. And then if you need to get rid of your quaternions, uh, expand everything. Um, oops. Expand everything here, and go ahead and in your armature panel, and uh, hit A to select everything, and then type in quaternion to uh, find all the quaternion channel uh, channels, and just hit X to delete them. Okay, and then you'll be ready to go. All right, so I hope that this uh, tutorial helps you out and I hope that you're all being safe and taking necessary precautions and there'll be some more animations and, and stuff coming soon. See you later, bye.